Basis of Scientific Research, Lecture 15. The thing student study group participating in scientific conference. The questions which you will be discussed during the lecture are subject study groups, problem study groups, problem study students' laboratories, structure of the student scientific societies, participating in scientific practical conferences. Society of Objectives and Activity Areas Supporting, organizing and fulfilling students' initiatives in educational, scientific and research areas. Organization of students' symposiums, conferences, seminars, scientific lectures and other educational and scientific events. Establishing intercollegiate educational and scientific connections, cooperation. Coordination of information of the university's youth, scientific project and its target-oriented potential. In involvement of students in educational scientific groups and programs and publication of students' research works, cooperation with other educational scientific centers and scientific societies of other universities. University student science is developing through students' scientific societies. Student scientific groups are working under supervising of the leading scientists of the university department. Their scientific works are represented at the annual student scientific conference. The best scientific work is chosen in the competition. Students take part in the university's cross-cultural, cross-educational, institutional, regional and international scientific projects, conferences, competitions. The Student Scientific Society is a public autonomous university association uniting the students of actual and PhD students that aims at stimulating and coordinating educational scientific research creative activities. Nowadays, the state government points out the necessity of human potential development and more effective usage of knowledge and skills, rapid improvement of technologies, economical results and life level. And active inclusion of students into the scientific research is the main task of this society. The main task of our university is creation of favorable conditions in order to form higher degree specialists by intensification of students' scientific research their participation in fundamental and applied research conducting in high school, the providing of possibility to realize this right according to its, his rights and abilities, the specified purpose, his cost statement and the solution of the following tasks. Formation of the competitive student, the possibility of flexible student social mobile activity, ability in dynamic developing social fields, Assistance in personal scientific and organizational support for students, information of the planned scientific conferences, competitions, exhibitions, students involved into the events held by high school, regional and international organizations, assistance in students' result usage in educational process, students' involvement into innovative activities, skill development to finish research up to end and to the level of its realization. Students training in the sphere of industrial organization and scientific documentation preparation. Cooperation with other high schools in order to lead scientific research and students training in the sphere of industrial organization and scientific documentation preparation. Cooperation with other high schools in order to lead scientific research. The work of scientific student society let us achieve the following. The improvement of educational process by students' participation in applied methodological searching and fundamental researches. Then, uh, the growth of scientific events of students' research, considerable amount of financing of students' projects by non-budget sources, creation of business scientific uh, creative societies in the sphere of different law forms, activization of teaching, staff in the organization and administration. Student Scientific Society is a youth organization is a useful part of all scientific structure of the university because the student scientific work is a obligatory part of staff preparation in the university. This works, work makes the formation of creative persons who can solve problems rationally and effectively and it plays the main role in the formation of students' science, which is a fundamental basis in science state formation. And the last provides society formation. Forming study group is a very effective strategy for enhancing learning. This is because groups share unique insights and learn from each other. Group members can also teach confusing students concepts they understand to other group members. 
Study groups are particularly effective for completing projects, developing presentations, and preparing for exams. The following are advantages of study groups and the strategies for making uh, study groups effective. So, benefits of joining study group. They are the greatest benefits. They improve your notes. They provide an excellent means for students to compare class lecture notes. Comparing notes allows students to fill in any information or important concepts they may have missed during lecture. Sharing talents. Since everyone has individual talent and unique insights, group members can learn from each other, and study groups provide students an opportunity to benefit from talents and knowledge of the other group members. School uh, support system. School can be stressful, so it's advantageous to seek support from people in similar situations then can provide you support. Joining or forming a study group is a great way to give and receive motivation and support from fellow students and group members. Cover more material. Working in groups makes it possible to focus on more concepts since multiple people can review more material than just one. Many groups decide to assign student uh, topics to individual group members to research and study and provide a summary for the group. This strategy allows students to learn a lot more in a sh much shorter time than if they were to study each topic on their own. And of course, how many and cover more material. And of course, it makes learning more fun. So, developing an effective study group and the following are recommendations for forming effective study groups. How many? So, it's recommended to keep study groups between four to six people. People often socialize too much and cannot cover as much material in small groups. In bigger groups, some group members do not contribute as much and organization can be a problem. With four to six people in your group, you'll minimize socialization and minimize individual contribution. Who? The most effective studies completed in study groups composed of members with the common goal of learning, earning good grades. Students dedicated to succeeding in school usually complete assigned reading, take extensive notes, and clear up confusion by asking questions and contributing to the group. Depending on the subject method, sometimes it's advantageous to select group members with unique talents or knowledge. Where? So it's best to study in environments without distractions and where group members can communicate freely. Most laboratories contain group study rooms and studying in the open can work. How long? It's best to study more than two, three hours at a time when studying in a group. Long sessions, group members tend to socialize more and not study as productively. However, study sessions under an hour tend to be rushed and unproductive since only a few subjects can be discussed. When? So, if you plan to meet regularly with a group, organize sessions in the same location and time. And this way, individual members can have time to properly prepare prior to meeting with the group. Having a study group at the same time each week allows students to fit in into permanent schedule at a time and they are going to be available the entire year. Maximizing the value of study group sessions. So the strategies are create clear objectives and goals prior to each session even group members should discuss what they hope to achieve. Be prepared. Group can be very ineffective in individual, so members come unprepared for sessions, and each member of the group should review lecture notes, complete select reading from the textbook, and identify specific subjects to study. Ensure participation, and every member of a group should actually participate. A great year. way for each member to contribute is to assign specific topics and have each member instruct the group. Teaching is a great way for individuals to retain information. Stay focused. Before each session, someone should be assigned to manage it, and the person charged for leading a session must entire ensure it productive, uh, stays on track, and all necessary material is covered. The person responsible for managing the session should also schedule breaks to avoid getting burned out. So, tip for attending scientific conferences, define your goals. So, and whether you aim to network, share your research, 
uh, hone your public speaking skills, define your objectives ahead of time. Doing this, you will have an idea of how to approach the conference and the, meet the people you meet. Consider seeing SMART goals, ones that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time-sensitive. And for example, you can aim to make a certain number of connections to talk to someone about a new technique or advance in the field. Plan ahead. So don't wait until you're at the conference to plan your activities. Start early. And contact people you want to get in touch before the conference and try to make plans to meet ahead of time. By the time you get to the conference, you should also already plan a pl uh, have a plan of what you're going to do and who you are going to see, whether the delegates, exhibitions or speakers. And of course, you make, make sightseeing. Choose the right sessions. Chances are there will be more sessions than you will be able to attend. Choose the most relevant useful to ensure you get the most out of the short time you have there. And if someone else from your lab is going, plan to go to different sessions and share findings afterwards. Use social media. Social media is an invaluable tool when it comes to connecting with people and staying updated on events, including conferences. And let people know you are attending. Don't forget to use the conference hashtag. This will use, uh, give you an opportunity to connect with people prior to the conference. Share photos, videos, and quotes from the conference. Apply to travel awards and conferences can be expensive and keep an eye for all reg registration discounts. Socialize the network. Social uh, scientific conferences are great for network opportunities, keeping up with scientific research and seeking collaborations. Networking at conference is crucial. And even if networking opportunity doesn't seem relevant to you right now, don't dismiss it. Someone may be a useful connection now, but they may be one later on. And tips for networking. Prepare a second elevated pitch to summarize your background and experience when introducing yourself to people. Figure out who will be at the conference, research their background and come prepared with the questions you would like to ask. Follow up with the people you meet you met by sending them a follow email or connecting them on social media. Be sure to social events. Social events are a great way to connect with people in a more relaxed environment. Pick the events with free food and then you're, when you're at events, try not to stay with people you already know every day. This defeats the purpose of attending a conference. Branch out and meet new people you never know and you'll meet next collaborator for your future maybe don't be afraid to know well-known or uh, approach to well-known or senior investigators particularly once you made to collaborate with to discuss your work be prepared to make no notes if you're attending a presentation or seminar be ready to take notes and uh, you don't have to limit your notes to presentations chances you meet a lot of new people So, of course, get some rest, then plan accommodation wisely, then looking for a place to stay, don't book your accommodation too far from the conference location, and you'll also find it easy to retreat your room, it's close to conference location. Present your work. So, register for a poster or oral presentation. Not only this will give you an opportunity to exercise your presentation skills, so, and you have many researchers in your field and get help, uh, feedback and insightful questions about your research. For scientists early in their career, a record of conference presentations can set you apart from other candidates when you apply for future professions. For more established researchers, presenting your work is a great way of attracting collaborators or talented young scientists to join your group. And networking and conference toolkit. Browse out the then prepare for a networking event. End of